cover. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, hey Brad, if there's anything you want to ask Mr. Reich real quick, I don't know if you want to say anything, you know, if you have to say or, you know. Uh, the, uh, I understand you, you told uh, the Mayor that you wanted to see the Okay. Uh, Do you feel vindicated now being able to say in front of Tom Samalek all this controversy about are you, are you not to the Bush lady? Isn't it Friday night to get that on the record in front of Tom Samalek? I had already done that. I did that November the 18th, 1994. That's got to be frustrating though, isn't that? I mean, and I have talked to a few of them since then. I'm just not making it public because, I mean, yeah, every time you do something, that's why I was telling um, Matthew this morning about his presentation. When the, when the motorcycles made the bend and they came around the corner, there was only three motorcycles. The one on the far uh, right went straight down Houston, and he had the four motorcycles there. There was only three motorcycles there. And he says that he doesn't interfere with the rest of but whenever you put this piece down, it's going to be taken apart like a bunch of buzzards on a dead carcass. So you don't want, I said, you don't understand it. you got to watch everything you say. Because with any inflection or reflection, because somebody's going to take this wrong. I tell you what, and I tell you what, I'm sure you've noticed this too, but it seems like any witness is, is attacked. It's like there's always a point counterpoint. It's almost like cross examination. It's like direct well, examination. Those of us, the three of us, which Gene Hill, myself, and, and Ed Hoffman, who have never backed down from our story, are the ones who get crucified the most. Hey, Dean, don't feel bad. Even some of the Parkland doctors, Robert McClellan, no. Dr. Dr. Charles Crenshaw. It seems like there's a, there's a long list of, uh, it seems like if you equivocate, like, you know, Dr. Mary Jenkins before he passed away, then they love you. You know, it's like, oh, okay, we can kind of use them on both well, sides. Uh, what I tell Mr. Rose today, Dr. Rose at lunch today, I said, uh, I don't mean to insult anybody, and I don't mean to attack your ugly, but I don't care what you do yeah, that says it all, really. really. Yeah. And I don't lose any sleep over it. I mean, believe me, this is, we were talking about another person. Right, right. And I said, I don't care. I don't, I, I know it's going to be a news to you guys, but I really don't lose sleep over it. But I don't lose sleep over it. It's the fact that somebody killed my president before my very eyes, and they got away with it. I mean, That's either. what I lose sleep over. I don't lose sleep over it. These little right. dog, little bar chihuahuas barking at a park truck. Yeah, you know, yeah. Here. That's the way colorful way it puts it. That's true, though, yeah. I just don't. Yeah. Because I know the truth, and it's not my husband preaches. The Supreme Court's not here on our yeah. That's. And I will be vindicated. Maybe yeah. not down here, but I will be vindicated. That about sums it up, yeah. But like I said, I love your, love your book, too. It's one of those things you know. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot. So well, this world. is for me. This is not for you. I come here for me. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, well, hey, you appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank Bless you. Okay. There he is. I guess about Jack Ruby, this is amazing because we're like blown away because we have Aubrey Wright, you know. Yeah, right yeah we, we got him already. I just want to ask you basically, because we're trying to Beverly, too. Aubrey Wright should be the author of what happened in the race and Jesus and the ambulance. Is that right? Oh my gosh. Wow. Aubrey did, yeah, he did. Just, 
basically, he, what was your, what was your feelings about Jack Ruby? I guess that's basically. Do you think history's portrayed him, other than shooting a lot of the things, history's portrayed him well as a person? Do you think you're too mean with him, or what was your? So basically, I'm sure you've read Beverly's book. I'm Beverly. I'm in her book. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I write Beverly. How about uh, Jada? Did you know Jada very well? I know Jada. Yeah. That's a shame because I know Jada, she went on uh, network TV on, I think it was ABC or NBC, and talked about Ruby, and so Ruby didn't really care for Kennedy that much. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, sure, sure. No problem. Okay, hey. I'm hey. Me and Barry were in the editor. Well, I surprised the baby so much. We did. There's William. <laughs> How's it going? But uh, anyway, so I guess basically what boils down to is like a Jada. So uh, was it Ruby that went to New Orleans to hire her? Is that how that all went? Or do you, do you remember? Yeah, that's what it did. See, I always was a star like for three years. And we had conventions here in the Indians, and they were every week. And so you could stay here all the time and work. Okay. Okay? And, uh, anyway, uh, Jack kept me here all the time. Well, then when, uh, Yeah. Exactly. 